All right, hi everyone, my name is Justin Bates. I'm a guide here at Monticello, and right now we're standing inside of the parlor, which was the main family living space here at the house. Uh, but right behind me, you can see one of my favorite objects to talk about. It's a painting that Jefferson had on display here called Salome with the head of John the Baptist. And it's telling you the story of the New Testament prophet who was beheaded after speaking out and criticizing the king and his wife, who didn't exactly like what he had to say. And Jefferson was very passionate about these ideas of the separation of church and state and religious freedom. And he's using pieces of art like this to start that type of conversation amongst his guests. A few years after he wrote the Declaration of Independence, he sat down to write what was called the Statute of Virginia for Religious Freedom, which would go on to separate church and state here in Virginia, but in many ways it also laid the groundwork for the First Amendment in our Bill of Rights. Jefferson once said, it makes no difference to me whether my neighbor believes in 20 gods or no god, it neither picks my pocket nor breaks my leg. And in many ways, the house is still standing today because of this uh, idea of religious liberty. It was a Jewish family who purchased the property about 10 years after Jefferson's death, and they owned it until 1923. One of my favorite things about working at Monticello is that we get to share these stories with the public that many people sometimes haven't heard before, but we're also shedding light on the stories of many, many people and raising voices uh, who over history of many instances have had those voices silenced. Uh, and it's a great privilege to be able to tell those stories with our many visitors who come here.